My dad and I had an amazing adventure on the Disney Wonder. Let me tell you, the seven nights absolutely flew by simply because we were having so much fun. In today's video, I'm going to go over some of those special things that you can find only on the very merry time Disney cruises and how much I like them compared to the standard Disney cruises that happen throughout the year. First and foremost were the decorations. As soon as you walk on board the Disney Wonder, you can see the larger than life gingerbread house, the tree and the garland all all over the place. When you walk in on the first day of your cruise, nothing is lit up. It's all dark. There are no lights in the gingerbread house, the tree, the garland, nowhere. But then there's a big lighting ceremony that first night where a special family is picked out of the crowd to help Mickey and the gang light the tree for the entire cruise. Everything just seems to come to life after that lighting ceremony. There is only one on board, so make sure you see it if you are there. It's extremely crowded, but definitely worth it. The holiday theme extends far beyond the the lobby atrium, you can find garland and trees and wreaths all over the ship, from the restaurants to hallways to just walking around near cabanas. Disney has added small touches all around the ship to remind you that you're celebrating the holidays on board, from those mugs that you use to refill on water or soda or coffee, to the popcorn buckets and even soda can containers that look like Christmas bulbs. At first I was really confused about those circular ornaments that you can find on board, but those are actually containers for soda cans. You put the entire can in the ornament. It's kind of cool. During a very merry time holiday cruise, you can also find Disney characters in their holiday attire. In my opinion, these make for extra magical photos simply because they're in brand new outfits that you may have never seen before. So if you've met the characters and you haven't met them in costume yet, this might be a good opportunity. To me, this really adds to the holiday magic. Maybe you've met characters before and gotten pictures with them before, but maybe you've never gotten a picture with Chip and Dale in their holiday day outfits or Minnie or Mickey, it can really add to the experience. Speaking of photos, there are some very special pictures that you can only take on a very merry time Christmas cruise, like by the stairs with the garland next to you and in front of the gingerbread house and in front of that very large Christmas tree. You know my thoughts about the photo package, but I feel like these holiday pictures really add to the value of the photo package. These photos will last a lifetime. Now, if you find yourself on board during one of the religious days during the holiday season, Disney will invite a religious leader like a rabbi or a pastor on board to lead religious services during your cruise. During your holiday adventure, you can also find Christmas carolers. They sounded great and I saw them before the winter snowball and right before the Till We Meet Again celebration. Speaking of the winter snowball, this is one you don't want to miss. Not only does the ship get a visit from Saint Nick himself, but he's joined by Mrs. Claus and Elsa who lights up the entire atrium and there is even snow coming down in the lobby. All of the characters are out there in their holiday attire. They're all walking around, having a lot of fun, meet and greets. It is such a magical time. There are two winter snowballs on board. If you want less crowds, you're going to want to wait till the later one, but you can also see them both like I did. The winter snowball is a great opportunity to meet and greet with some of your favorite characters and Saint Nick, but if you're looking for more of a formal meet and greet with Santa and maybe the opportunity to put your name on the nice or naughty list, depending on the year, of course, there are meet and greets with Santa throughout the cruise. One recommendation I have for that meet and greet with Santa, get there early. That line takes an extremely long time and it just keeps going and going and going. So the earlier, the better. Along with Santa, you also have the opportunity to hear and see Mrs. Claus with her story time. If you have young ones in your traveling party, this is their opportunity to sit around the rocking chair and hear Mrs. Claus and some of those holiday stories. If you have young ones at heart, you can also see it from behind the kids or maybe maybe on deck four or five. At the end of story time, there is a special surprise with some special meet and greets. On deck nine, you can also find the Deck the Deck Party. It happens once during your cruise and it's your opportunity to interact with some of your favorite characters, maybe Limbo or Pass the Coconut. It is for younger ones in your traveling party. Now, if you're thinking about what else you can bring home besides those very special pictures, it's Disney. So not to worry, there is plenty of merchandise available that has the very merry time theme on it. They have shirts and mugs and pins and even special tote bags to celebrate the happiest time of year. On board, they also have the gingerbread man cookie making, which is extremely popular. It's so popular, in fact, that there is a two hour window that you can show up anytime and make your gingerbread man. The gingerbread itself was delicious, actually surprisingly delicious. I thought we would get like store-bought kind of like hard gingerbread. It really tasted like it was baked just a few minutes ago. It was delicious. The icing was good. Those little hard sugar balls to decorate with, 
those were not good at all. Those were basically like mini jawbreakers. So if you're looking to eat the gingerbread, I recommend just the icing and the gingerbread. Tastes amazing. Those little sugar balls, just for decoration. Last but certainly not least, a show that's a little bit sad till we meet again. The final show on board starts with those Christmas carolers and all of the characters and their holiday outfits come out and say one final farewell. Overall, the very merry time Christmas cruise was magical. You can definitely feel the holiday spirit on board. It is a lot of fun. Now, the question you might be asking, is it a cruise that I would want to go on again? Hmm, interesting question. Who am I kidding? I loved it. It was amazing. It was awesome. But you know how much I love the holidays. That being said, I wouldn't want that to be the only cruise experience that I have. I do want to go again. It was awesome. But I also want to go back on the Disney cruise when it's a little bit warmer. That's the only thing I would change. Honestly, that is it. Just the weather. A little bit warmer, a little less waves so we can make it to Castaway Key. But besides that, it was perfect. So you know I loved it, but do I recommend it for you? Absolutely. No doubt about it. Only one exception, which I mentioned in the vlog, I wouldn't make it your very first Disney cruise. The only reason for that is, again, because of the weather. I think that your first Disney cruise should be a full experience, sitting on the deck with the sun and going to Castaway Key. That should be the first Disney cruise. For your second one, Very Merry is perfect. Third, fourth, fifth, no matter what. But that first one, I recommend a warmer Disney cruise. Although it's never a guarantee that you'll make it to Castaway Key, things happen, Mother Nature, totally understandable. You have a higher chance of making it during the spring, summer, or early fall. So that's what I recommend for the very first Disney cruise. Those are some of the fun things that you can find on board the Very Merry Time Christmas Cruise. I hope you found this helpful. Let me know if you've been on a Very Merry Time Christmas Cruise before, if it's your absolute favorite, if you really want to try it now, or maybe you'll avoid it because you heard about the weather, you'll save that for the future. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for being a part of the magic with me. Until next time, have a magical day. Thank you.